or night, wherever you are. <laughs> this is solo roaming again, and uh, I was going to go down to the zoo today. They have a zoo down in Des Moines they call the Blank Park Zoo. Now, I don't know if uh, they couldn't think of the name of the place or what. But I was going to go down and check out the zoo because I really like them. And uh, while I was there, I was going to try to find out why they called it Blank. Now, I don't know if there's a person named Blank that used to be famous here or not. But at any rate, uh, yesterday I did the old dump the coffee thing on my laptop. So it messed it up. And uh, I really don't know my way around Altoona here, uh, you know, as far as finding maintenance people and people to fix stuff and whatever. So I spent about half the morning driving around trying to find a computer place and finally ended up at Staples. And uh, the guy there told me to give the thing three or four days to dry out. It had some keys in it. I couldn't log into it uh, because part of my password, the, the keys were out. So anyway, he said that I could hook up a keyboard to it. You know, one of those separate keyboards you can you can buy. So I bought one, but anyway, he said it would be best not to use it for three or four days. So the reason I'm telling you all this is just to let you know uh, another stupid day going on. And uh, nextly, I decided since I couldn't get out, I would do another one of those cooking videos. And uh, maybe you won't call it cooking because I'm not doing a whole lot of cooking with it. But uh, at any rate, something I do sometime is uh, get one of those $5 roasted chickens at Walmart and I can make five or six different things out of it all week and uh, the only reason I don't do it more is because five or six times of chicken all week is enough for a while so uh, I'll skip it for a month and then go back but anyway I'm going to do some videos on some different stuff that's uh, cheap and inexpensive that I fix out of uh, that five dollar roasted chicken and uh, I want to warn you right now, if you're a person that's afraid of carbs, then you'd better run and hide because uh, the carbs are going to be out in force and they're going to be well armed in all these videos. So anyway, let's get started here. This is, uh, of course, the roasted chicken at Walmart. And what I'm going to do today first, and I usually do this, I have a potato baking in the oven already that should be getting close to done and uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, have some broccoli with that and the chicken and the baked potato but anyway let me uh, cut this thing real quick I'm going to put this in this foil, and I'm also going to put that chicken leg in that foil. I'm just going to pull these pieces of broccoli off that stem. I just got finished washing this broccoli. So it's going to be wet enough for my purposes. So to start this chicken off, I'm having a thigh and a leg and some broccoli here. I could have cut off a little bit bigger piece of foil, but that'll be all right. Let's turn this up on the ends. Turn this one up on the ends. I'm just going to pop that in the oven. I could have done a better job on that doing the video. I should have, but this doesn't matter. Also, something else I'm doing is trying to mess up as few dishes as possible, if you haven't figured that out. But anyway, that's going to cook about 10, 15 minutes in the oven. And that chicken leg and broccoli can be cooked together while that baked potato is cooking. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, you remember just a minute ago when you went to the bathroom? Well, I snuck and deboned that chicken. 
Now look at all that good chicken in there that I'm going to be able to add to stuff uh, for the next few days. And that's what we're going to do. I just put that in a container like so. Put a lid on it and uh, put it in the refrigerator. And that's all it takes. It's ready for uh, next time I'm hungry. I just wanted to show you something briefly. If you'll remember that broccoli stalk that I cut off of those flowerettes, uh, I've always eaten that. When I was a kid, my mother used to always save this part for me. I guess I was the only kid around that would eat it. But uh, just peel that tough hide off of the outside of that stem and you end up with a really good little vegetable here to me. Now, you can throw some salt on here or you could dip this in some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese or some ranch dip if you wanted to, but I just always just snack on it just like this. I try not to salt stuff a whole lot. You'll notice out through the future when I'm cooking something, you won't see me bring out a salt shaker too much. But a lot of the stuff I use has salt in it already. Uh, most of it has too much salt in it already. So I try not to add any more to that than I can. And uh, something else that's good, which is all uh, also in the family of broccoli, is cabbage. That cabbage core is really good, too. And that's something else that my mother used to say for me all the time. So that's just a little extra tidbit right there, if you want to think about it. Okay, here we are, out of the oven. And uh, I have what is pretty decently close to a home-cooked meal here. And didn't put a whole lot of effort into it. Now, I do want to tell you a couple things that are particular to me and not everyone, but I don't cook my baked potato in foil. This is a true baked potato. Uh, I wash this really good because I like to eat the skin, and uh, then I just set it in the oven on a rack. I've got a little racket I put in there. that It came out of a toaster oven, but these RV ovens... Uh, really like to burn the bottom of stuff so I put that little rack in there and it helps a lot and of course there's my thigh and leg and here's my broccoli and something else particular to me uh, some other people too but I don't like my broccoli cooked until it's all mushy and you can't even eat it with a spoon and I know a lot of people do that uh, just boil that broccoli uh, to death but I'd rather have it still a little crunchy now I did take a little bit of salt and pepper and put it on the broccoli I put some some of that I can't believe it's not butter stuff on the potato and so that would be it for me and then I'm ready to eat and uh, we have several more things coming up the next one's even simpler than this so thanks for stopping by